Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Bratz games for the Sony PlayStation 2. Bratz Rock Angels is a bad game and I'm not saying this just because I'm a dude and don't like girly games. I mean the game is bad bad. Even navigating through the mall can be a pain due to the bad camera controls. In this game you play with all four Bratz. You can switch within characters by high-fiving them and to do that you have to look at the map and locate the character you want to switch to, it's a chore. Once you've switched to the desired character you can go to your workstation and take on missions. You can also unlock the rollerblades in the third half of the game but don't get excited, the controls for the rollerblades are terrible. Also the climax of the game, the big concert, is actually just some underwhelming quick time event. I know it's a spoiler but you'll thank me later for saving you the hours you would have played it until this appointment. The only good part about the game is the customization and even that feels underwhelming. Bratz Forever Diamonds is a total cash-in. They almost copy and pasted the same game. You get a different story, but let's get honest, I haven't encountered one reviewer that ever said that the plot was something. Well, they didn't say about the gameplay that it was something. Everyone seems to agree that these games are bad actually. Anyway, in this game you have the roller blades right from the beginning of the game and somehow you're Roller blades are slower than walking. You roll slower with the roller blades than the already slow walking animations. That's how I thought at least. Then I received a comment from Mura Hunkera telling me that you can actually go faster if you press the square button. And I tried it and was like, that's why I'm re uploading this video to be accurate and so that if you have the same problem you now know that you can go faster in the game. Thank you Mora for the comment and for being so polite. And if the other game didn't have enough content, guess what? Now you get mini games that don't tell you what you have to do and you also get sneaking parts that look like this and ice skating parts but at least the dress up parts are better. Girl reviewers say that the dress up parts are better in this game. And you get a pet, which you can also dress up. Bratz the movie is the same story. They copy pasted the same gameplay again and slapped the story over it. At this point I don't consider the game to be good even for a little girl. I mean if I had a little girl I would rather recommend her play a good Barbie game than this mess of a game. And Bratz Girls Really Rock is the first time the game wasn't a copy paste. And they managed to make another bad game. The Bratz Girls are in a summer camp, so you roam around, do missions, and play mini games. And no matter what you do, the game is terrible. The button press mini game is out of sync with the audio. Mini golf is terrible. The only good thing in the game remain the dress up parts and the makeup parts. But even those aren't really something. As a conclusion, if you ever see a Bratz video game, run away, don't get it. They aren't worth playing, even if you're a 6 year old girl. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.